Matt Damon in the role he was born to play. Uh, did you just pun that? I can't believe you telegraphed that pun. Well, the title of this movie should have been Matt Damon running his ass off because that's all he did through the whole movie. Or Matt Damon in more of the same. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? I mean, we're sitting up here talking. Tra- it, it sounds like we're talking trash about the movie, but I enjoyed it. Yeah, no, it was actually uh, more fun than the first two. And here's why. Follow me on this. The first two, they thought maybe you could make it like feel like this is something that could actually happen. But somebody must have gone back and actually watched the two films and go, this is preposterous. So they just said, screw it on this one. And it's just, there's almost no slow points. It just goes balls to the wall. Born on Tomatum. I'm, <laughs> I'm just not getting it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Joke grenade detonation. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's uh, yeah. No, I totally agree. I mean, this this is just like the other movies. The, if you didn't like the other movies, odds are you're not going to like this one. If you really like the other movies, you're going to like this one. It's more of the same, but by the same token, it's actually kind of improved with age. They actually they cut out all the boring bits because, well, frankly, all the boring bits were the plot, and they got that out of the way in the first five minutes of the first film. And so this is, hey, here's a little plot point about Jason Bourne's past. Run, 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 run. Hey, here's another plot point. Run, 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 run. I mean, he's Wolverine without the claws, and except he runs the whole time. And it's, and it's pretty fun. And well, this, is, yeah. this is the Weapon X story. I mean, it really feels like it at points. Like the whole, you know, amazing killer who doesn't know about his past and finding out he was built by the government type of thing. It's, it feels a lot like what the Wolverine movie is. And weren't is they built like. by the same guy? Wasn't that the same actor who played Striker in, in uh, uh, X Men 2? He, he looked just like him. Well, th- this movie, now, see, that's my complaint because this movie's handled realistically in a lot of parts. It, it sort of, it, it's sort of like James Bond in real life. Up until they start doing some ridiculous shit, like, there, I'm sorry. I, I just it loses me when people jump through windows in movie in movies because if you jump through a window, you are gonna bleed to death. Yeah. That, that's it. And Matt Damon jumps through windows and he doesn't have a scratch. Let's not forget about he drives a car and gets hit like what 15, 20 times, like just pounding the crap out of the car, and he's scratched up a little when he finally steps out of the car that's rolled over like six times. He drives a car off of like two stories in a parking lot. It just and he and he drives it off like he says, "Well, I can't die, so I'm just going to do it." And he does. He he lives through it. Yeah, you pretty much got to pack up your plausibility and and you know send it packing. But uh, it's still fun. It's one of those ones, just like most of the rest of the summer movies, like we said. Yeah, it's silly, but it is fun. Well, I mean, come on, Jason Bourne. You, you brought up uh, James Bond. These guys are superheroes. The whole point is these guys aren't plausible or realistic at all. These guys, these guys are the Ubermensch. These guys, you know, they they're just there to kick ass and and heal instantly. Wait, wait, wait he is Wolverine. Yeah, I, no, it's all coming together now. It's Matt Damon. Schnicked. <laughs> Who needs you, Jack? Oh, uh, he's like he's like a uh, John McClane from Die Hard. Exactly. It's like these two guys like hang out with each other Wait, and shoot each other, and no, nothing happens. Hold on, it's John McClane from Late Die Hard Three and all of Die Hard Four, the one who heals all the time. Because in the first two movies, when he gets hurt, he stays hurt, and by the end of the movie, he's always limping around and bleeding to death. Uh, but then somewhere in the third film, he like got shot up with some kind of superhero serum and could heal all wounds and that's matt damon the yeah. thing is this movie is probably gonna be a hit i mean, probably will it deserves to be it's a fun summer you know get out of the heat film but it's kind of the last piece of i guess the story trilogy this is all the exact same story it started in the first one you know you'd think this guy would have at least you know stopped to massage his feet at some point but no he's been running pretty much non-stop so uh they're gonna go on with another trilogy almost certainly right but, you know, there's no more born books as far as I know. So you'd have to go with other stuff like uh, Born to be Wild, right? Okay, no, stop. Come on, how no. Born Free. No, no, stop, okay? Born, 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 born to, to be, be alive. alive. Okay, you got born me. Born to be alive. <laughs> born to be killed. Born to be killed. Born to be killed. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> born to be alive. <laughs> I'm a sucker for that song. You got me. <laughs> but no, nah, you know, I mean, it's uh, the movie is good. I mean, there's no there's no extraordinary acting in it, but the people are competent and you really believe who they are. Matt Damon, it has some really cool fight scenes, some great action scenes. When they go to the car chase, that's a little ridiculous. I mean, he, he might as well be in a bumper car or something. Uh, 
there cannot be any car chases in the middle of Manhattan in the middle of the day. It's just not possible. Wait, the guy survives a massive wreck by grabbing his seatbelt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Literally hey, grabs his seatbelt. Seatbelt seat are for safety. Yeah, seatbelt save lives, and they did it. Now, now i got to ask you this. Now, Corey, you being the ladies' man that you are, no. you help me out here. All right. Now, there's a hot chick in this movie. Yes. And uh, why am I blanking on her name right now? Julia Stiles. Julia, Julia Stiles. Stiles. Yes, we all love Julia Stiles. Now, when Julia Stiles is sitting across from you in a coffee shop, and you ask her why she never turns you in, and she gives you a look and goes, it's complicated. You bone her, right? Because that's what that means. If you if she says you don't remember anything, don't you say, "Baby, I remember everything." Yeah, there's a there's a part in the movie where she she's giving him the look. She's yeah, like she's pretty, giving him the look. I know they're on the run, but you at least go to the bathroom and knock that shit out of something exactly. real quick. See, I thought I was the only one sitting there going, "What is this? The most dense man on the planet? Is he like at the end of running? He's he he, he swims out of the lake or whatever, and and then he goes." Oh, son of a... Yeah. She meant... Yeah. No, I mean, this dude can survive several car wrecks, but he can't catch a hint when somebody's giving it to him. Oh, I mean, she exactly. was setting up the whole thing. She even cut her hair and dyed it to look like his ex-girlfriend, who's dead now, right? Yeah. She, she looks just like her. Uh-uh. He's not biting. No, no. He's... Uh, I, damn. That must have been a heavy memory on his mind. <laughs> like, Because she was... She's, get, she's looking at him like, come on, let's get it on. He's like, I'm thinking. I'm like, shit. I don't dude. remember any of this. Don't... <laughs> Don't you remember anything? I don't know. Nope, she... I don't remember shit. <laughs> Maybe she should have flashed him or something. You know? it's... <laughs> Do you remember little Jason Jr.? <laughs> <laughs> now we know why he was running so much. <laughs> no, but... baby, I don't remember anything. <laughs> yeah, I remember I... nothing. I know nothing. Wasn't mine. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I should tell before we stop. I guess I should give a little synopsis of the movie. So, I mean, I what? didn't see the second. Bo I mean, I'm sorry. I didn't see the second Born movie. Yes, and... you did. No, I saw the first no, one. No, you I... just watched it. <laughs> that was that was the second one. I mean, it's it's. Oh wait, we we now know that it's all a government conspiracy, and let's get to the bottom of the government conspiracy that created Jason Bourne. Yeah, I don't think exactly. That's it. I mean, because really, I mean, once you get that right down to it, he's just running. I mean, you he's pissed off and he's going after somebody. There's there's really almost no plot here, which is what's enjoyable about the film. It's the CIA knows Jason Bourne is still alive, and they're trying to kill him, so their secret doesn't get out, and he's trying not to get killed really hard. This, yeah. this is kind of like watching someone's thesis paper on shaky cam and quick edit action <laughs> scenes because it's good they got it down i gotta tell you in other movies they've done this it's kind of annoyed me like gladiator is one of the ones that didn't work for me in this one they really do have it down there's only at points i was like wow there more maybe more edits in this film than in almost anything i've ever seen now there's a good reason for that this is directed by paul greengrass yeah who, who did the second one but also did united 93 now this is the film he followed up united 93 with if you needed to get something as cathartic is that out of your system you'd make the dumbest loudest fastest ass-kicking movie where you just tear the crap out of new york for fun Good rather point. than doing it seriously i'm sorry say it again rather than do it rather than doing it seriously no excellent point actually <laughs> um so i think <clears throat> we got it. yeah i think we got everything you know, oh well, I, also go ahead oh no you... i was just gonna say I, you know uh even though i'm, I'm kind of middling on this you know it is a full price movie yeah it is a full price movie yeah no i had a lot of fun i'd give it full price too 